Good morning everybody, hello and welcome. It's Thursday the 7th of May 2020. Today I had to just check the date on my calendar there. Um, Thursday the 7th of May 2020, it's time for our phonics. So, the first thing we're going to do is look again, as we've been doing throughout the rest of the week, for different spellings of the k sound. One more time, what sound are we looking out for spellings of? We're looking for spellings of the good, the k sound. Okay, so we found a few already this week. Let's see if we can find those spellings again. Now, these are all of the sounds that you will need to build the word chemist. Two syllables, and the word is chemist. Ke mist. So, once again, we say the sounds as we build the syllables to build the word. And we've got a k sound there already that we recognise, the ch spelling of k. And we say k, e, ke, mist, m, i, s, t, mist, mist, ke, mist, ke, mist. Now, can you underline the k spelling in that word? And of course, it's two letters, one sound, isn't it? C H spelling of k. Okay. Next word that I'd like you to build is crab. So these are the sounds that you will need to build the word crab. One syllable. Crab. And we say k. Er, a, b. K, er, a, b. Crab. And the k spelling in that word is, of course, the c spelling of k, isn't it? So there's our second k spelling. Now remember at any point, if you need to pause the video, then you must do so and press play again when you're ready to move on, okay? Don't rush to keep up with me, just take your time. There's no rush. And these are the sounds for the next word. The next word is curb. The curb at the side of the road. Curb, one syllable. And we say k. Uh, And we can see that we've got the K spelling of K in that word. So that's our third spelling of the K sound. There are a couple more, I think, that we had earlier on in the week. Let's see if they come up again this time. Okay, everybody has heard of this creature. It's a character's name. from a cartoon, three syllables, and it starts with a capital P. Okay, have you guessed? It's Pikachu. Pikachu, three syllables, P-K-Chu. And Pikachu, of course, has a K spelling in the second syllable, P-K-Chu. So, say the sounds and build the word Pikachu. And we say P. E. K. A. K. Ch. U. Ch. U. Now don't be tricked because CH is a spelling of K, isn't it? But in Pikachu, the CH is the regular CH sound that we knew from before that it's spelled. So in Pikachu, the K is the K spelling, isn't it? And we say P E P K A K CH U CHU. P K CHU. Pikachu. And we've got the K spelling of K again in Pikachu. You 
might have heard of this musical instrument. You might not have done. It's called a piccolo. A piccolo. And these are the sounds that you need to build the word piccolo. Three syllables again. Piccolo. Piccolo. And we say p. I, P, K, O, K, O, U, O, Lo, P, K, Lo, Piccolo. So the K spelling in Piccolo is, of course, those two C's together, isn't it? Two letters, one sound, so we add that double C spelling of k in piccolo. Can you remember the other word from earlier in the week that had the double C spelling of k? You can remember? I'll start to write it and see if it jogs your memory. R A k. Some more people getting it now? Ooh, mm, ra, ra, k, ooh, mm, k, oon, raccoon. Well remembered if you remembered that one. It's not a very common spelling of the k sound, okay? Next one, let's have. I quite like to eat these for lunch at the moment. The word is pickle. Pickle, two syllables, pickle. And we say p, i, p, k, with the c, k spelling, well spotted. Ul, k, ul, kul, pickle. Okay, and we've got the c, k spelling to add to our list there. So let's see, how many spellings of the k sound have we got so far? We've got the c, h spelling of k. We've got the C on its own spelling of k. K on its own spelling of k. The double C spelling of k. And the C K spelling of k. Okay, two more for today. Let's see. Now this is going to be a three syllable word. And the word is chemical. Chemical. These are the sounds that you need to build the word chemical. Just make this one a bit clearer. That's an I. Chemical. So we've got two k sounds, haven't we? We've got k, e, ke, m, i, me. Cool. K -a -u. K -a -u. Cow. K Chem. Me. Cool. Chemical. And we've got two k sounds. One is spelt with ch, and one is spelt with just the c spelling of k. Okay. Chemical. Now yesterday we talked about how the ch spelling of k is often in the middle of words, isn't it, with sounds surrounding it either side. And this is an exception to that pattern. Now remember we said that it's a pattern and it's a commonality, it's not a rule. So there will always be words that don't quite follow that pattern, okay? So just be careful of those. The last one for today is a two syllable word and it's the word critic. Critic. A critic is somebody whose job it is to review something. So you may have a food critic who reviews restaurants and gives their opinion on them. You might have a music critic who reviews music and tells you their opinion on that to help you decide whether you want to go to the restaurant if it's a food critic or to help you decide if you want to listen to the music if it's a music critic 
So two syllables, the word is critic. And we say k, r, e, cre, t, e, k, tick, cre, tick, critic. And of course, we've got two k spellings with the same C spelling of the k sound, haven't we? In critic. Okay, next job. We're going to move on. We're going to move on to reading words with the or sound. Okay, different spellings of the or sound, which we started to do earlier in the week. And we started to read from my piece of paper that I held up. So we're going to carry on with that today. We've got the second half of that piece of writing. So once again, um, the way it works, as you know, is I will hold up my writing to the screen and that's your chance then to pause and take it in your own time to use your phonics and to read all of the text on that page. So it's very important that you do pause so you give yourself enough time and you're not rushing to finish it. Then what you need to do is very carefully read through all of the words. Any time you find a word with an or sound, you're going to write that word using the sound. So for example, if I read the word four, the number four, I'd straight away realise that I had an or sound spelling and I'd write it on my board or on my paper and I'd say or copying the sound spellings that are on the text, okay? Or for just to remind myself of what that spelling was. Okay? And then we'll review together at the end and we'll just check that you had all the same ones as I did, okay? So the text is coming now and get ready to pause when it's in place, all right? Okay, I would say that now would be a good time to pause. Okay, so hopefully you were able to pause that for as long as you needed to. If not, don't worry, just go back in the video, scroll back and just pause again at a point where you can see all of the text on the screen, okay? So let's have a look, let's see what we got. I'm going to read the first sentence and see what all spellings we've got. I have two horns, but I am not a warthog. Okay, so there's two words there. We've got horns, or, n, z. Or -ns, horns. And we've also got warthog, a two syllable word with an or spelling. And we say or t. What? Ah, g. Hog. Wart hog. Wart hog. And we've got the ar spelling of or. Remember, it often follows a w spelling, doesn't it? And the same in this case with wart hog, wart hog. Next sentence. I have four legs, but I am not a horse. So four. 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 But I am not a horse. Or. Horse, horse. I have no claws and I cannot crawl. Claws, we have k, u, or, z, claws. And I cannot crawl. Same sound spelling. K, r, or, Ooh. Crawl. Ooh. Crawl. You will not hear me roar. Or O A R spelling for roar. As I am quiet and graceful, but you cannot ignore me, as my head soars above the grass of the savannah. So we have a couple of words there, but you cannot ignore two syllables, ig, ig, n, or, o-r-e spelling of 
or in ignore, ignore. But you cannot ignore me as my head soars. Soar. Soars. Above the grass of the savannah. Okay, next paragraph. Some of my poor friends or and we've got that double O R spelling of or in poor some of my poor friends have been caught K or A U G H spelling of or in court K or T and brought O-U-G-H Spelling in brought brought Some of my poor friends have been caught and brought to live in zoos Zoos are very good at looking after animals So why don't you visit and see what gorgeous animals we are Gorgeous and we have good or j a s just g or just gorgeous animals we are. What am I? Did anybody guess the animal from those clues? Of course it's a giraffe, isn't it? Good, well spotted. So let's have a look, let's review the sound spellings that we've got for or in that piece of writing. We've got the O-R spelling of or as in horns and horse and gorgeous. We've got the A-R spelling after the W sound in warthog. We've got the O-U-R spelling in four the number four. We've got the O-R-E spelling in words like ignore. We've got the O-A-R spelling in raw and saws. We've got the A-W spelling in claws and in crawl. We've got the A U G H spelling of or in court. And we've got the O U G H spelling of or in brought. Okay, so as we remember from last week, a lot of different spellings of the or sound, aren't there? So, good review. Okay, so what I want you to do as you probably guessed by now, is read each word using its sounds to read the word, then rub your board out or get yourself a new space where you can work for our last piece of work today, okay? So just like this. or If you're doing it on a whiteboard, what you could do is rub the sounds out as you say them like this. Or Horns. Ul, or z, claws, and so on. Okay, so I'll leave that over to you whilst I rub mine out, and then we'll be ready for the last jog. And it's going to be some sentence work again. So we're going back to Jerome in his kitchen where he spotted that genie standing by the fridge. And today, the story continues further. So, my turn, your turn, when you're ready. Pause if you need a bit more time, and then we'll carry on when you're ready. Okay, so a couple of sentences today. First one is, the ginger genie was binging on Jerome's orange juice and June's jelly, okay? The ginger genie 
was binging on Jerome's orange juice and June's jelly. So our turn together now, remember? The ginger genie was binging on Jerome's orange juice and June's jelly. Okay, so your turn now. Okay, so remember, we don't need to worry if we don't remember the whole sentence because we'll do it one word at a time together. So the first word is the. That's quite straightforward. Capital T, the. And we'll keep going with the next word every time. And remember, it's your job to pause to give yourself time to think of how you would spell that word with the sounds and with the syllables. Think about what j sound spelling you need for that word, okay? The next word is ginger, the ginger. So give it a go, pause now, give it a go. And we have j, i, n, gin, j, a, j, ginger, with the two g spellings of j, okay? The next word is the ginger, genie, j, e, E. J. E. G. N. E. E. Ni. The ginger genie. The next word is was. 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 The ginger genie was binging. Two syllables. B. I, n, bin, j, i, n, binging, with the G spelling of j in binging, was binging on, that's quite straightforward, on, oh. n, mm. the ginger genie was binging on, Jerome's orange juice. Okay, three words. Jerome's orange juice. Let's have a look. J, E, J, R, O, M, Z, Rome's, J, Rome's, Jerome's orange. Two syllables. R. R, ringe, R, A, N, J, R, A, N, J, R, A, N, J, orange, orange juice, one syllable, J, U, S, if you remember that spelling of juice, with the U, I spelling of U, Good job. So the ginger genie was binging on Jerome's orange juice and a n d June's jelly. Two words. June's jelly. J U N S J U N S June's jelly. J, E, J, U, E, Li, J, Li, Jelly. Stop. Okay, so we've got the G spelling of J in ginger, genie, binging, and we've got the J on its own spelling of J with Jerome's, juice, dunes, and jelly. And we've also got that G-E spelling of J at the end of orange, haven't we? Okay, so the ginger genie was binging on Jerome's orange juice and June's jelly. Okay, last sentence. What a greedy genie. Your turn. Quite straightforward. Four words. What a greedy genie. Now, first word. What? And we have. Ooh. 
are now the same as with the word was we've got a w sound at the beginning of the word w w so the o sound is followed followed that follows is spelt with the a spelling of o w o z w o t what a greedy uh, two syllables greedy g r e gre d e d greedy what a greedy genie g e g n e n e with the g spelling now stop mark at the end of the sentence because this is an exclamation we have an exclamation mark okay because it's what a greedy genie exclamation okay so that's you cooked for today for phonics everybody have a lovely day and i'll see you back here same time tomorrow okay bye now